Hello, my lovely Pisces. How are you, loves? I hope everyone is doing well. Pisces, I welcome you to your weekly reading, weekly energies, Sun, Moon, Rising, Signs, and Venus. As well, this is the third week in December when the Sun moves from Sagittarius to Capricorn. And last but not least, we do have a new moon, loves. And it's a great time to put those manifestations there, especially those work, job, career studies related. New moon in Capricorn on the 23rd might bring you more than you can think. As well, if you have loves, a creative project, whatever that is, put that in place. So let's see here, loves, Sun, Moon, Rising, Science, and Venus. What do we have for you? How the energies are? And what we need to see? Five of Swords. Woof! King of Cups. Seven of Swords. And the Fool. Look at you. Surrounding by Five of Swords and Seven of Swords. So some Pisces, you are quite a fish. Let's say that. Because people around you really, really sees you as a catch. But be careful, not everyone is your friend. Everyone tries something around you, wants something from you, but might not really be necessary. That true friendship, that true love, that true people, that true tribe, you know what I mean? The fact is, for some of you, don't really care whoever is around you. Let's see, loves. It's like I do me anyway. The first card we have six of pentacles, hermit, eight of wands, and six of wands. Look at this, loves. Six of pentacles, six of wands, that energy of... I'm looking forward. I know this is not quite what's supposed to, but, you know, I know clearly. You know, loves, you are one of the most intuitive zodiac signs. Yes, you are the last zodiac sign, but you catch everything or kind of tiny bits from each zodiac sign. The hermit, you are either older, earthly wise, age, or you are an old soil, old soul, not soil, old soul of Piscean. You know where you are standing. And it's kind of, I know what I talk, I know what I do. But that is only in my favor. So whoever here tries to get something from you, you kind of catch it pretty well. You know pretty well. Why and what? The Six of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Knight of Swords, King of Swords, and Justice. Could be a Libra here. You are dealing, my lovely Pisces, or someone who have a lot of air in the chart. Let me just put it here so you can see all the cards. But you clearly know this person tries something here in a quick, but doesn't feel that they get you. Yeah. There's some sort of contract out there. Okay. Because having the lover's end next to the, the justice, there is some, some kind of legal statement, legal contract. And... I feel here your boundaries are pretty strong. That's why I'm saying you are in between, you are quite a fish around sharks. Whoever is this person or this people try to get from you, it's more likely they, they will get nothing. Zero. Hermit. Ace of Pentacles. It's like you you know where you're hitting, you know where you are standing and what you want absolutely because you know what is there for you it's much better so it seems here this week 
you might have certain things regard someone or some people could be you know a legal situation a contract of some kind but you clearly see that is not is not balanced is not stable is not good enough doesn't serve you because you know where you are standing clarifying the five of swords sun and clarifying the seven of swords moon so look at this sun and moon up and down up and down if it's not one thing it's another thing so somebody here tried to catch you hey you know I have this uh, proposal oh you don't don't like this we can work something else or we have something else for you so they they try to it's like somebody here kind of like wants to sell you something wants to you know get it get it this is yours get it get it so Sun and Moon you know Something is they are quite fishy because you know your expertise. Yeah, that's why it's kind of like they they didn't got to the right person basically. Or, you know, you are not the person who can, you know, get into whatever it is or whatever they put on the table. As well, I feel here you you and them are very different in the approach. Because some of you Pisces and many, many Pisceans in general, you are, I need to love what I do. I need to feel like joyful when I'm just thinking of the things and not just like, oh, you know, it's just a thing. You can't. Because believe it or not, many, many people are failing just because they think they get something out and then they end up, you know, hating certain things let's see here the best advice for Pisces this week we have Queen of Cups we have death we have seven of wands there's a lot of things changed and you been changing as well six of cups you are standing up for the things been put in there and I feel here the relationships you build are very different or the relationship you are getting into it's quite different than whatever was and you know that king of pentacles yeah i feel here there's something here that you are You know what it's coming here Piscean for for the Pisces here who is a professional for Pisces who knows their craft know how to make their finances money and so on like you you're not really impressed by the luxury and stuff you probably were back then but now it's just kind of like this it doesn't matter a lot of my priorities change over the time and now I know where I need to stand up another thing here we have six of pentacles, six of cups, six of wands. The six of swords is missing. And the six of swords is that card of whatever you go, sometimes might not feel in the beginning the way you want, but you know is the right way. And there is movement. The best advice from the oracles for my Pisces for this week. taking shelters you have all the answers the answers are we then so you got all the answers you know where you are and where you're going and so here the winter time and the winter time many many times speaks of take your time take care of your needs first and underneath we do have protected by angels you are cherished by the angels and indeed you know if i it's kind of if i'm going somewhere i know where i'm going if i'm dealing with someone i kind of like see them through like an x-ray so that's the pisces i'm speaking here you see them like an x-ray another thing here we have um king of cups king of swords king of pentacles the one is missing it's king of wands 
whatever actions very much speaks on how you deal with certain situations. You are not that kind of like somebody here gotta tell me what to do. I know what I do. Because itself the core, the King of Wands speaks of I know what I'm putting on the table. I know what I need to have on the table. So that's the Pisces I'm speaking. So yeah, loves, that's what we have for you for this week. I hope this speaks to you, resonates with you, and if it does, you know what to do. And I'll see all of you next time. Namaste.